Hey fam, this is James. Um, back here at the Civic Center. Um, as you can see, they're fleeing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, someone uh, came and uh, dropped off some uh, shepherd's pie, some salad, some fruit. It was delicious. Great lunch. Um, had some brownies and cookies. You can't beat that. Um, just want to talk about you know what's been going on lately obviously there's a lot of chaos going on in the world and a lot of uh, beautiful things as well um, I'm happy that I'm part of the beauty um, and the change um, we have some reluctant slavers that are uh, in our midst uh, some slavers and some uh, really insane um, unfortunate um, creatures that have done some very bad things. They're afraid of the freaking light, guys. Um, as you know, as any, anyone knows about um, the spiritual realm and what's been going on, um, basically they want to take, like, they hate nature. And they hate anyone who's a representative of nature um, because nature is abundant. It's free. It's full of life and vigor and um, it's unlimited and the only um, and, and, and you know it's not control it's, it, it's it if you can if you you know are part of this understanding it's uh, not a form of control um, that the the universal prime creator has it is love <laughs> It is a, a complete concern for your individual growth. And I'm talking individuals from ants to microbes to single cell organisms to us and beyond. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's quite amazing. And um, you compare that to these creatures who have uh, manipulated and lied and and um, you know, are basically the lie. Um, and uh, you know, they they you couple that with their agents that are running around, trying to um, you know steal your steal your abilities, basically, so that they can control you, and uh, try to put nature under their control. And it, it is it is a, a reckless fight. <laughs> like literally, it's like. Literally, I mean, uh, <laughs> I can't explain to you, uh, unless you're in my body, what goes on all the time. But imagine, no matter where you go, everywhere you go, there is a negative entity around trying to f figure out a way to force control over your, your body and your mind and your soul. And they don't all go in that same order. It, it's just in there's a bunch of them everywhere everywhere you go and you know I've decided that I'm just gonna stay out of um, the eyes and uh, you know of their of their negative people at least try to um, but they come to you you know uh, they they come directly to you um, I have this gentleman uh, this guy who says he's a Nigerian he was uh, he stole something from me last time um, I spoke with him, and he just kind of lingered about, stuck his head near me, that sort of thing. You know, that's one of the things that they do. Um, so I, I don't know if they have something built in that literally can copy your mind or, you know, your vibration or, or, or whatever it is that you've learned. They like to try to copy it and steal it um, without your permission. Um, and so it's like literally, it's like you, it's like you have a temple. For me, it's like you have a temple, your body is your temple, and inside your temple is um, a blessed, um, most glorious connection um, to the Universal Prime Creator, and they're constantly trying to get in. <laughs> and no matter what you do, they, they like send like insects, they try to get you sick, they try to mind control you, they try to use robots, <laughs> sympathy they they will do anything it doesn't matter what it is 
they will do it and it's really weird because when you look at these people some of them i mean i'm in the homeless community so some of them look a little strange but you know a lot of them don't look anything i mean they look normal i mean and i guess normal isn't really is a look um but you wouldn't you wouldn't go out of your way saying oh this is a negative entity or this is the child of the jinn they've done a good job at uh, mimicking us uh, humans or or cloning us or doing whatever it is that they do um so that when one is uh near you you don't know but for me there's always some type of weird behavior that goes on for example i was standing in line trying to eat and an asian woman just kept circling around like you know there's a line so you just don't i mean there are people who walk up and try to get in line whatever but then they kind of stay inconspicuous an asian lady um gets in line then she proceeds to keep trying to get in front of me and around and then there's a white lady in front of me who's carrying three or four bags and every time the line moves she has to pick up each bag one by one and move it forward and you know there's like 50 people <laughs> i'm just like just put your bags on a on a on a chair um and so they've been doing you know there's always some type of campaign or some type of thing that they have going on um you know asians um i i consider them a part of the problem to be honest unfortunately um i don't know you know i it's just kind of like you don't want to be a bigot and you know you don't want to be disrespectful to a, a whole culture of people um but for some reason it's overwhelming um when i have asians around me there's always really overwhelming anger or, or, or rage and not to mention um the person who actually chipped me and um put me into this program was a south south korean um named eddie jiang that was his name i think his real name is Siyoung jiang he was a uh you know uh, a martial arts master um last time i knew he was a sixth dawn has a family all that sort of stuff i you know who knows what they're really up to um but you know i was in, inducted into this madness by um an asian man who i'm sure was working with israelis and nanotechnology and uh you know the jinn um so i'm a little weary of ever going near asian people again i'm very happy that you know they bring food and stuff like that but there's, there's something going on anyway so they use a, they use these agents they just constantly trying to figure out ways to confuse you and um get in and so i was staying in line an asian lady just kept get it like she wouldn't stay still like would get behind me and then stick her head right near me and then stand next to me um you know so that her head is parallel and then would get in front of me and then go to the left right hand side then the left hand side so it was just like a whole thing and uh you know i'm i'm guessing they got some type of brain scanning technology um when i first um was inducted into this i i though i all of a sudden was waking up abilities that i'm sure they were stolen i was able to see like i would close my eyes and in my mind's eye i could see into someone's brain i could see into their skull i don't know what happened to that ability but it's gone now someone took it i don't know <laughs> i really am not sure what happened um but the second that i had the ability the negative entities will come and take it um so they want to leave you um without any ability to protect yourself and i'm pretty sure they're up to that sort of the same type of thing sitting around trying to look into your brain while they're attacking you to see exactly what they how they can infiltrate your temple um or copy you or mimic you or whatever um you know and it's really kind of sad because you know that they have this technology that could actually might be maybe help people so that they're not indoctrinated into the school systems um so that they don't when they get sick they can get help no it's 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 like they don't care i and for me it's really amazing because the and it's it, it shows what their true nature is because when you take when you when I pulled out this camera you saw a guy walking away he was standing right there and i'm i'm sure preparing for an attack etc it shows their true nature when you record them and they flee like 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 a light to to a pack of roaches and it shows you what their true nature is 
that they are scared, literally afraid, for their evil to come to light. Like, they are scared. Um, and for me, I think it, that's the best possible thing. And, and as people um, reach their spirit, you know, reach up spiritually and change their selves, change their genetics, and become better, they, they won't have any tolerance uh, you know, for the stupidity, you know, I get it, some people, they have families, um, you know, you can't just necessarily drop out of society, um, but, you know, some people, I think they may have, um, some decisions to make, especially when, um, the police come knocking at your door, and as you know, they're, the police are Masonic, and, uh, you know, they're sacrificial lambs, and, you know, they go around killing people, on purpose and they are part of this whole system so when the time comes I'm, I'm, I'm 100% sure that they will I mean, especially knowing what they do to me that they will he not hesitate to take people out and as they already do but you know say you're a target um, you know spiritually um, you starting to started to rise and uh, you know start to learn it's just like in the matrix all of a sudden um, they, they, they know who you are with the surveillance. That's why it's always really funny to me when I see all these attackers, these people with guns and stuff like that. These, these entities, they know who you are from birth. Okay, you were tracked, and retracked, and and got files and dossiers all on you. They know what you're doing. They know what everyone is doing. I'm so sorry if. <laughs> there are people who believe in this bullshit but everything is orchestrated and done on purpose they know they're fully aware um, just as I mean like <laughs> and as soon as you start they, they have a, an ability that once you start connecting and and, and uh, you know breathing in that beautiful prana that 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 life-giving energy from the Creator they have an ability to sense it track it and then come and steal it all right and not only that they're tracking bloodlines they know who you are um you know in terms of lemurians or whatever you want to call them sacred people blessed people the the chosen people i don't know they know who you are and they know what your bloodline is and they're coming after you so do not be deceived and um you know I'm completely out of the system. I've been... The lawyer uh, for my divorce emailed me last week saying that they still hadn't gotten the paperwork and it's been a week and a half. It don't take no week and a half to send an envelope. Um, so this is not... It's not the first time that they've committed mail fraud. When I first got back from Ethiopia, um, they tried... And I applied for some credit cards because I didn't have any money um, to get around. They... Um, they kept fucking around with the mail and wouldn't give me the credit card and so I had to um, get special had to get a special um, PO box and uh, get the company to uh, FedEx it overnight and all sort of stuff in order to get my things because these these people these um, um, sick monsters were committing breaking the law and they, they will do it without permission they don't care they don't care who you are <laughs> They will break every law possible to get what they want. And uh, that what they want is your soul. They want your ability to connect. And um, they can't have mine. They can't have me. And I'm sure it's very frustrating. Anyway, so just talking about, you know, um, the attacks. And, uh, and they were trying to get in today and they weren't able to. Um, and then so they sent over their agent. And I told them to go away. And then they didn't like that. And so they proceeded to attack me even more. Try to, you know, fist, like, you know, they punch and kick and act like fucking assholes. Um, and uh, it's just... <laughs> I'm just sitting here trying to eat, man. That's all I'm trying to do. And, and move past them. And they just want to completely uh, take apart your life. They want to be in your life. And they want to take it apart. Anyway, keep your head up and keep working hard and peace out fam